Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make wildlife stand out within your images using the all new subject and background masking inside of On One Photo Raw 2026. Let's dive in and take a look. So with this wildlife photo, let's make it a little bit more dramatic and make sure the elephant pops within the scene using subject and background masking. It's incredibly easy to do and really, really fun when you're trying to modify the background and subject independently of one another. So first things first, let's add in a little bit of light to the elephant. I'll just go into my local tab here and we have this very handy subject option. I'll just click on that. It's automatically going to create a mask for me around the elephant. So now all I have to do is modify my local adjustment to fit the look that I'm going for. So let's add in some midtones and make sure he has enough contrast. And just like that, we've modified our subject. Now let's go in here and let's actually modify the area surrounding the elephant with a background mask. So we'll use this add adjustment section. We'll choose background now, and it's created a mask around our elephant for us that we can then just modify the adjustment for. I'm going to make things a little bit darker. I'm also going to add in a little bit of contrast and I'm going to pull up on the whites. Now you can see it's adding this little bit of a haloed edge around the scene there. That's because it's being very specific with the mask, but have no fear. We'll go into the masking options here and we're going to grab this mask and we're going to refine it. And we're just going to pull up on the feathering all of the way. So now we have this nice background adjustment and it's ensuring that the light on this elephant is the one that's standing out within the scene. Now you can also do this same technique by going into your effects. If you want to style things a little bit more by going into this add filter option and we have this apply to menu. So let's just go in here. We'll choose subject and let's use a little bit of detail with our dynamic contrast filter. Again, it's created a mask for us. Now we just choose the style or modify the sliders to our taste. I'm going to use surreal and we'll tone it down a little bit so it's not too textured. And then I'll add another filter here for the background. Let's use glow. We'll use darker to darken it up a little bit and soften things. Maybe lower the opacity a bit. And then last things, last things, last, last thing I want to add onto the image is just one last filter. We'll add a vignette. We'll use big softy to bring in a little bit of darkness around these corners to really focus the viewer's attention into our subject there. So let's check out the before we have the before here and then after with those adjustments applied to it. And all we did, is we just use those subject and background masks to target those individual areas within our scene. And it allowed us to modify those areas independently of one another. It's incredibly easy to use and it's really, really fun, especially in instances like this, where you're looking to bring a little bit of light into your subject and dim the background down. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks using on one photo raw 2026.